Scott Mercer joining us for sports now, and there's a bunch of it. There sure <laughs> is, Tom. Yeah. Patriots Dolphins Act 3 is less than 24 hours away. The Patriots will try to pull off the difficult task of beating Miami for the third time this season. It might also be the final game for Miami quarterback Dan Marino after 15 years with the Dolphins. The teams know each other well, and there are plenty of subplots to this one. It's the playoffs, and neither team is taking the other lightly. Saturdays this time of year, of course, mean a lot of college football. And Scott Mercer joins us now to update the goings-on for us, Scott. Thanks a lot, Tom. Well, the Boston College Eagles just can't get the breaks when they need them. Syracuse couldn't put away the pesky Eagles all afternoon. But an Eagles fumble late in the fourth quarter ends the upset bid. There's good news and there's bad news for the Red Sox. The good news, Nomar Garcia Parra is trying to keep his hitting streak alive, going for 25 straight games. The bad news, well, I'll show you. Red Saber Hager making his second start for the Red Sox against the Mariners. He'll be overshadowed by the record-chasing performance of Nomar Garcia Parra, who can extend his hitting streak to 29 games with a hit tonight. Well, it's definitely Christmas tomorrow, but will it be on Sunday for the New England Patriots? They've already received the gift of home field advantage against the Miami Dolphins, but that's no guarantee.